today begin to some knee down stretches before that just elongate the spine bring your shoulders back we get back here so when you bring your shoulders back push your tailbone to the back maximum then only you can fix the middle part of the spine see now close your eyes and sway the body in circle without using the joints create good circle you you should feel only the base the body weight impact should be on the base then close your eyes and do this so breathe in breathe out this will help you to get the internal balance other way you can feel that sometimes you lose the balance now stop swaying hold your fingers here stretch so see when you look at me you spin a stretch the the whole shoulders the both shoulders going back now bring your arms up little bit see little bit here and keep it in a upper part see upper part. now push the tail out so that you can feel the really good stretch on the shoulders okay now look at the ceiling relax your head so looking at the ceiling relaxing your head same time pushing the tail out will create nasal curve of the spine now when you look at the ceiling move the head little bit now look down move the head little bit chin straight look at one side look at the other side now bring your chin up and down say inhale up exhale down now look straight look at the side wall and relax your head like a sleeping on the shoulder say now look at the other side do the same you are going to connect that slowly inhale all the way by looking at the ceiling when you reach here the chin reaches to the shoulder exhale all the way now inhale upper part exhale lower part so don't close your eyes open your eyes make sure that you are doing right no other way always exhale lower part inhale upper part look straight right now the knee down so first always think about this pelvis should be really like the l1 to l5 has to be really push it out little bit that's the main thing now bring your one leg forward one leg forward and bring your knees don't bend your knee and stay take deep breath now bring your arms up and look at the ceiling and keep looking at the ceiling and bring your upper part of the body down all the way down so you are you are touching the abdomen part to the femur say take deep breath so it is like holding a ball here breathe in breathe out by looking at the ball you bring it up here take deep breath now switch so make sure that you are on the back toe should be really curled toes right not the flat feet now stay here bring your at four way stretch here so it get support when you are in a relax here upper part of the body is getting support from the 
femur the knee to the pelvic bone you are stretching here take deep breath slowly come up now stay and slowly down and try to sit on the the curl toes right? on the heels actually the relaxing pose but the problem is we already messed up our toes so it's very hard to sit on the heel right come on. we stretch the one leg here so here is a flat foot see straighten it so don't bend forward push the tail out look at one side breathe in breathe out Look at the other side. Look up. And look down. Chin straight. And get the support from here. Say, with me. And slowly bring this arm. bring closer to the ear and look straight up first now look straight bring it down here see then look parallel to your arm then look at the side wall parallel to your arm slowly back so remember this this should be flat and the the distos in the back should be curled towards stay here so we take deep breath inhale and exhale look at one side look at the other side now look straight look at the ceiling look down look straight get the support here bring the arm straight this is a little bit straight say look up now slowly stretch here and bring your arm Closer to the ear here, and look parallel to your arm. And sway back here. And relax here. Now, bring your legs straight, see, straight here, and flex the toes back by pressing the heel on the floor. Lock this knee. Stay here a few seconds, see? and slowly bring your head forward by looking at the front wall and stretch here, see, stretch by flexing the toes back and press the knee down. It's a good stretch. Gradually, you can relax and bring your fingers here on the floor. Slowly back. Other side. Now press here. So you're getting this little bit balance because you lock this knee and stretch here, okay. and slowly bring your body down a little bit. Always look straight. Now press the fingers on the floor. So you can feel that is uh, stretching the hamstring and all supporting muscles.
Get back. Sit back. Okay, now, bring this leg to the front corner. Now press the whole palm here. again one more time, stay here. Now press the palm here, see? The, when this palm and the, both the knees, both should be parallel, see? Stay, look up. you are going to press to be parallel. See? It is very important to fix that base. Look at the palm. Go back. So step by step you have to improve that flexibility. Stay here, press here, slowly lift this the leg up and bring your arm down, look parallel to your arm here. Okay, slowly back. Other side. Say, first you bring it up here, inhale and exhale. Make sure this really up and stretch here, look parallel to your arm. Okay, now back. Stretch. Sit here. Now, let touch the heel. Touch the heel and push this body forward. Okay? And bring your arm here and look parallel to your arm. No back. Other side. No back. Now bring this arm down and bring down and point the fingers point into the back wall and look well at your arm. No back. So take deep breath. Here, yeah, other side. No back. Now try to touch both sides, see? And look at the map. No back. Now if possible, flatten the feet here. So then you have to push the a little bit more, see? And back. 
Now slowly sit back on the hips. Now listen to me. I've been telling this every day. Yoga is just management of the base. We are playing with the gravity force and different base, nothing else. But you don't understand that. When you really do that only, you know that where you didn't fix the body. Maybe toes, sometimes arm, shoulder is not coming here. So that's the reason we have to do the basic step. Now, the last part we did is very popular uh, camel. Camel pose. So this, that's the only thing we learn usually in a yoga class. We never do all this baby step. They do it different way. So there are a lot of ways we can do the same thing. We can come down from the standing point to the knee down, or you can lay down and come back and sit. Come up, sit, sit back, sit. So there's a lot of sit muscles at move here when you do this. The same thing when you stay here and stretch the leg to the back corner, sit. So you can feel that this muscles has to be really stretched. Other side. So usually what's happening is sometimes stiff muscles or cramps. The cramps I always define in a different way. The cramps means the island in the ocean. It's the ocean. So if the blood circulation is not there or circulatory system is failed, you can feel something numb feeling or cramps or stiff feeling. Now back here. Now this all narrow base, right? So when you bring your palm down, that will become cat. See? Cat. So do some basic stretch for the cat. Rotate the pelvic. Not up and down. Rotate. See? Another way. So big difference because we knee, we, knees are be blocked. So only the upper part of the femur is moving. So it's a really create a big change in the lower back. Don't move back and forward, just side and make a good circle. Okay, good. Now straighten one leg to the back. And slowly sit back on that heel, closer to the heel. See? And think straight. Then if you really practice this, you can bring down more stretch here. No back. Good other side. Straighten the other leg all the way back. See? Push it back. So you can get a good stretch here. See, straight. Just like so. No back. You can sit back and relax for seconds. See? Now come back again. So you are Pressing the, again, palm and the toes here. Straighten one leg back, really up. Now what you should do is bring down and up. See, really stretch it. Okay, back. The other side. Take here a few seconds. Slowly bring your opposite arm straight. This is what you call flying cat. See? Now, other leg really up.
Me suele ver. Si ve que bien. So what is the thing about this? You want to know the cat or fly cat? You forget about that name. Base, we are managing with a different base and playing with the gravity force. It's a play. That's what we are doing. Now stay here. Bring your leg to the back corner. See? Now really up. Back corner. Now stay here. Straighten the both elbows and stay here thin straight. And fix that big muscles here. And down. Other corner, up and down. And stay here, few seconds. Now sweaty back. Sit back here, all the way back here. And down, the sitting downward dog. See? Okay, back here. Now bring your knee sideways. See? So the knee, you should look at the knee over the shoulder. See? Over the shoulder. So bring your knee really up. Stay here. Now slowly rotate. See? Good circle. So you know, when you rotate, you really bring the knee up. Another way. See? Okay, down. Other knee up. Look at the knee over the shoulder. Now rotate. And other way. Okay. Good. Again, cat. Bring your knee up. and touch the opposite elbow here and look at the knee and straighten the leg to the side wall a few times like kicking to the side wall back other knee see okay back Again, cat. Straighten the leg to the side here and bring this leg up. Exhale and bring it really up. Move it. Now other side, up. And back. Can't breathe. Start from here. See? Push the tailbone out. Out. So you're creating the natural curve here. Then chin straightly up. Stay here a few seconds. Now when I exhale, I bring this middle part of the spine up. So naturally the tailbone will tuck in. See? This is the position. So Hold your breath, inhale, hold your breath here, exhale, hold, inhale, so you can use different way, exhale, empty the lungs, hold your breath, now let it go, come back. You bring the air in, hold, 
Now fast. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, back here. Sit. Back. No. Press the fingers here. No. Breathing. Start from the same thing, but instead of tuck in, here is the lift. See, tuck in means you're lifting the buttock from the heels into it. Start from here, exhale. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale back. Stay here. So it's something like a dog. See? So move the tail. So bagging the tail. See? Really move. So, all these muscles, the groin and sows, the part of sciatica nerve, all moves stay. Now, you sit back fully, then stay. Now, same. Exhale, look at the ceiling, bring your buttock up. Say, look at me, and back near. Exhale. In and back. Exhale. In your back. Good. Relax for a second. Now cat again. Straighten both legs back. See? Stay here, chin straight. The plank by straightening the elbows, the plank position. back here. Take deep breath. Now sit back. You know, just listen to me. The natural instinct of the body, actually the body never forget that. But the problem is, is in subconscious mind, not in conscious mind, not in everyday life. So listen to this. Whatever we do here, we are really making artificial movement to get this natural movement. So yoga is 100% natural movement. It's an instinct of survival. So what we are missing is so many muscles we messed up. That's we are playing with the different gravity force with a different base, nothing else. Okay. So, you don't want to sit and do the breathing technique when you connect the breath with the moment. So, if you cannot do that, that's why we are sitting and doing all the breathing exercises. But sitting is a good thing because sitting is a different base. So now you're sitting on the tailbone, right? So imagine you have a big tail, push the tail out and elongate the spine. I think like it with the natural curve. See? See, I have a curve here now. This part, if you sit like this, your central nervous system is not working. So here. So the T6 is in the really in the right position. And your shoulders back. So usually the yogis sit like this. Or sometimes there's a stick, yoga dant. To make sure that you are not going down. See, this was really before we invent chair or couch. So even those times, we have a tendency to sit like a teddy bear. So Yogi said, okay, elongate the spine, sit like this. So they mix with some other yoga, Jabba yoga. They chant the beats and they started doing something. So they connect with the Hatha yoga and Bhakti yoga and Jabba yoga. Three yogas they mixed. So that was the thousands of years ago, we have been doing like this to elongate the spine. So then science developed, maybe 300 years. So when I say science is a newborn baby, scientists won't like it. We just developed a new theory of proven theories, bringing down the data to believe the system more.
So the data, I can see sometimes, oh, Stanford is found that Shashi, you are right. 21 years I've been crying here. People won't believe. Stanford did some research with a few people. You believed. So they condition that belief system is not right. So belief system has a lot of rituals. I always tell them, uh, rituals are really good. It transform you. That's why the belief system connected to the discipline. Padajali mentioned, yama neyama asana pranayama. Discipline and attitude, the rules and regulations of your moment and your thinking, that's very important to lead a happy life. Otherwise, five senses will go out of the place like any other monkey. Still, we have that monkey with us. Most of the modern people think that they are doing right, but this monkey might. I want this. When I say mango, start climbing five monkeys, climbing five mangoes, five mango trees. So make sure that yoga is a little bit different. 90% is natural instinct. So we have been running fast, right? running away from the enemy, running after the prey. So how the breathing pattern? Fast. So we can do this. Eh? So when you run, so we are really practicing a different way how to move these lungs, pretend that you are running. Think that way, so you will never forget. So the abdomen wall is really moving when you exhale. Press the lower back and do the same thing. Press the back side of your kidneys and Okay, back. Middle lobe of the line, see? Press the upper back. Bring your arms up, look at one side. Look at the other side. Chin up. Look down. And Disagree. So when you run away from the enemy, you are not running an even surface. You look around, you climb on some slippery rock and breathe. So that's why we are playing with the different lobe of the lungs. You understand the name doesn't mean that. We are just faking our natural instinct of moment. Nothing else. So when you, some brisk walk, what do you do? You can do that, see? And keep doing it. Okay. Sometimes your abdomen won't come down and your mind will go out of the place. Why I cannot do this? I tell you in a funny way. When I teach this meditation, they look, the students are around, they look down. Even she can do this. Then I say, what do you mean by that? Even she. So you totally underestimate you are doing good. Maybe that lady may be a little bit older than you, then you think that she cannot do. So don't underestimate anybody. Each body is a different power. I don't underestimate any of you. You are specialized in your area. But my request is like this. Okay, you are doing good, makes a lot of money. That doesn't mean I have no problem with that. Take care of you. Otherwise, the last part, the body will punish you back. You don't underestimate the body. You lose the balance. One day you lose the balance. What are you going to do? Even now everybody is very happy with this vaccine. First one, second one, third one, okay. You can see the report sometimes. A lot of other problems still you have that elevate that problem. Blood coat. Coating the, coating the blood is very dangerous. So you thin the blood by giving some medicine. So sometimes you stop it. You are not worrying about this guy, COVID-19. Next year they put another name, COVID-20. 20, 20 but it comes like it because I work, I've been working in a company manufacturing diagnosed text for AIDS, HIV. First HIV-1, then 2, then 0. Then start making the cocktail of the antigen antibody and make the test. Only test. Now the vaccine never came up. But the vaccine fortunately scientists so smart 
the vaccine came so you have to take vaccine you have to wear mask you have to keep social distancing even though you have vaccinated don't think that you can mess up other people because you vaccinated then you have to do over breathing exercise i don't know how many years i can talk to you and cry to you to do this because this lungs has to be really clean yeah. airways in your next side so bring your here slow down see in here like say say press the palm here bring your arms here look up look down look at one side look at the other side So sometimes you receive feeling sometimes arms are not coming up you cannot sit straight you cannot sit tall so that's why i always tell the people fix the body fast then think about the rest of the thing now how much you can hold what's holding is resistance how you resist so all these tissues will become strong the cells become tissues so the whole area becomes strong when you lock it so stay here inhale hold your breath exhale rest of that to the mouth hold inhale hold exhale to the nostril rest of that to the mouth hold inhale the nostril inhale more one more time exhale to the nostril rest of that to the mouth through the mouth one more time lock the chin hold the breath chin straight let it go inhale the body sucking the air back lock it again chin straight let go so i think you get the clear idea what is pranayama is listen listen to your body listen to the breath i am missing that opportunity to see the people i always correct not by touching because i know when i hear the sound of the breathing i know there's a problem sometimes a wheezing sound come inside so now we are missing that part not only the yoga teacher even the doctors they are not listening to you much i i know that some doctors are listening this but this system changed instead of looking at the patient you are looking at the reports x ray mri blood report the person is right away you are missing the right person in front of you just do i am doing just opposite only the front of the person not any report so when you will know that when you really watch the people you know where the problem where is the overweight in here and exhale press the lower back exhale to the nostril rest of that to the mouth lock the chin chin straight in here lock again chin straight let it go so i'm talking between because you have to relax in between now forget about the doctor forget about the yoga teacher you can feel what the problem in you early morning the breathing pattern little bit bad so we are learning how to fix that your shoulder is a bit back back you know how to fix the shoulder why you are depending upon other people because you have a big pharmaceutical factory and chemical factory with you a doctor and a specialized scanning machine and most of the times the body create exclusive medicine for your unknown disease also not known disease known is only you can diagnose right i don't feel good 
So you are not at ease. But what do you think? Uh, I have a disease. Right? You are not at ease. Most of the time, there are unknown, millions of unknown problems is still waiting for you. Because it's not punishing you. When you think about the real life, it's a very temporary phase. The birth to the death, you have to maintain, you have to manage. So the maintenance and management, you have to learn. Actually, my request is should start from the first grade onwards. You have nothing to do, you didn't get a good job, you become a yoga teacher, that's not the way to do that. Inhale and exhale. Now, bring your, bring the middle log here. Exhale, first of that through the mouth, through the mouth again. Move the abdomen more without breath. And lock the chin. Chin straight, inhale, inhale more. Lock the chin again, hold the breath. Chin straight, let it go. Press the upper back. Exhale to the nostril. Hold, hold. Now rest up there through the mouth. Hold. Through the mouth again. Tighten the abdomen more. Then you cannot move the abdomen more, only the internal organ in the abdomen cavity rotate. Other way. Lock the chin. Chin straight. Inhale. Lock it again. Chin straight. Let it go. Arms up. Everything together fast. Slow down. Now exhale. Through the mouth, rest of the air. Through the mouth again. Tighten the abdomen more like an X shape. Rotate three times the intestine. Other way. Chin down, lock. Chin straight. Inhale. Inhale more. Log in. Chin straight, let it go. So you already diagnosed Your lungs are good. Your mind is working. That's why I always request the people do it every day. You cannot control the teachers. Do this, I need this. That's not the thing. If you do every day, that's our life. We are eating different type of food, but eating the same way. Same. Nobody can eat, want to eat like this. That's actually a problem. So we create artificial movement in all our life. Treadmill, for example. What is the running? People say sometimes, oh, I run half an hour. That's a running. You run without shoes in a, in a hike in place. That's a running. Not do like this watching TV, hearing a music, no information what you are getting from the body. You must up your knee sometimes because without any knowledge you move like this. Sensory motor reflex is not coming, speed is not coming, motor reflex is not there, balance is not there. What's the tool is that? I'm not against what you are doing, but do this also. Inhale and exhale. Open your mouth. Stay there. Stretch this. What we are doing is just stretching this muscles, right? Ah. And more the lower jaw. Okay. And rotate the lower jaw, see? Other way. Turn the face like this and think about a dog biting the bone from the bottom side. Now think about this in the upper part. Turn the head like this. Bottom. Upper part. Okay. Okay, now move the lower joint circle, see? 
ಅದರ ವೇ ನಾವು ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ಟು ದ ನಾಸ್ಟೇಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಿಪ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ನಾಸ್ಟೇಲ್ ಯು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ದ ಮೌತ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ then you expand this part then you exhale through the nostril so the in between two bob in here to the nostril in here more bring the air to the mouth in here and exhale through the nostril now exhale to the nostril so we block here this air then you can open that upper part separately one more time inhale bring the air to the mouth close it inhale and exhale through the nostril exhale through the mouth tell you the problem with allergy and fixed in the lungs tomorrow when you are taking the shower bring some water inside your mouth and don't spit it stay there till you finish your bath the shower so you can see afterwards it become warm and filthy water so it all the all toxin comes here also it fix the lungs and separate the tubes from larynx to the pharynx do one more time inhale to the nostril inhale more and bring the air to the mouth inhale and exhale through the nostril now exhale through the this goes because already it is expanded here now why we are not using this type of thing we are not chewing we are not smelling you are not tasting properly taste but is so powerful how many people know that water is tasty oh it is water water is very tasty how you know the taste of the water you should be really tasty i'm talking this because what i'm trying to tell that what is pranayama is so your body should be really hungry for the fresh air or craving for the fresh air so that's why you're holding so in here hold your breath so the body asking you what are you doing you have to push it out so exhale through the mouth hold the breath body is a bit happy but after a few seconds that come on this become toxic again become hunger craving for the fresh air now in here this is where the body suck the air fully so which one is important carbon dioxide or oxygen both it is equally important without carbon dioxide without oxygen you don't take the next breath so keep the little bit idea different in the breathing technique i don't know how many uh, students are really really thinking about what is happening inside when you eat some food 9 o'clock 10 o'clock somebody give you free food you are so happy you never touch the abdomen that is still the is not digested because they're free you can see that when you invite a few people to the party nobody complains because free so they have no right to complain but the body complains body tell you this not eating competition uh, somebody is make food because you are abusing me they say you are disciplined so even though you get free food don't eat too much and I'm, i am not a monk i know exactly what the problem with the human being you are how you correct your thinking that's only i can help you i don't think that is not the philosophy she teach sashi is teaching something else not yoga in your mind yoga means something else that's not my problem okay now inhale and exhale take deep breath 
in here to the left nostril. Lock the nose and bring the index finger in the middle and hold the breath. Now open the right hand side, exhale and close it. Again, inhale to the left. Make the lungs really full. Hold it. Exhale to the right. Hold. Now inhale to the right. Close. Exhale to the left. One more time. Close. Inhale to the right. Close. Exhale to the left. Okay. So, don't do whatever you want and think that this is a pranayama. We what we did. We inhale to the left. Exhale to the right twice. In between, we hold the breath. Same way, we inhale through the right and exhale through the left twice, and in between, we hold the breath. You are clear now. Inhale through the left and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left and close. Exhale through the left. Close. Inhale back from the left, close, exhale to the left, okay, relax. So everybody think that oh, we are also breathing, we know how to breath, take the breath. Autonomic nervous system, we control it, you can control with the left and right nostril. That's why it's very popular in among the yogis. There's Ida and Pingala balance, left and right balancing. Now we have to use inhale to the right, close, exhale to the right, close, inhale to the right, close. Exhale to the right. So we did inhale and inhale through the left, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale to the right. Now to think about like a dahil, like a pyramid. You inhale from one side, exhale to the other side, then you inhale back from the same side, exhale to the other side, and inhale back from the same side. So like climbing up, down, up, down, clear? You are climbing up and think that you are reaching between the eyebrows, the peak of the mountain. Inhale to the left, close. Exhale to the right, close. Inhale back from the right. Close. Exhale to the left. Close. Inhale back from the left. Close. Exhale to the right. So if you have time, you can increase the numbers. Now, I'm talking about the autonomic nervous system. Is divided into two division, parasympathetic nerve and sympathetic nerve. Parasympathetic nerve make you calm down. So maybe it helps you for the control of the peace in between, patience, because it's calm down. It helps you to play that. It will go to the silence in between. Without that, there is no rhythm for your life. 
people always complain. Why I talk in between? I want to explain to you why and what we are doing. Very important in life. Now, so sympathetic nerve, what they do, they urge. So you can feel that sometimes when you're driving a car, a truck in the opposite, the, in the middle, you can see the whole body is regular shape. What we should do? Same thing sometimes when you cross the border, some truck is coming, you have that thing, you have to run. So suddenly you get this sympathetic nerve action. To do, do it. That's it. Other one is calm down. It's very important both of them should match. Now, when you meditate, you can see that sometimes you cannot relax. You are still thinking about the business. Maybe tomorrow you are going to get 1 million or sometimes you are losing 50,000 tomorrow by investing in the share. So your mind is just in outside. The body, poor body, he doesn't know anything about you are a big in businessman or you are a physician. Your body, bless me, not you. I, I, you don't know that. Because I'm trying to teach you what is the connection between you and you and you. You, you cannot learn this from anything. I'm not against religion. Don't think that. Somebody is sending information, uh, email. I'm not against religion. Religion have some duty to make you spiritual. Religion make boundaries. Do this. But the problem happened is each religion has a boundary. They never try to cross each other. So they start fighting. That's why the problem happened. So and another thing, religion has a leader. But they don't tell the leader. They think that, okay, I'm son of this main leader, God. I'm not talking about any religion. I have a request to my students. You are the leader. And you are the guru. And you are the God. You are part of the God. Believe it. I'm not telling that you should not believe you should believe because that energy we worship. So some people call it soul, some people call it Atma, connecting with the Patma and Paramatma, some Sanskrit words, all you. All Upanishad, Veda, they are talking about us. No, because it's all connected to you. So this you, I, all ego. Nobody believe that. I is an ego. So you push little bit smoothly be another collective ego. So it is little bit confusion here. A one request. Forget about all things. Fix your body. Body knows that who you are and who we are. All bodies. Almost same. Inhale and exhale. So we learn a little bit technique. Now, in between the nostril and this, this larynx and pharynx, you should understand there is a tube there. Inhale through the nostril and exhale through the mouth. Then inhale through the mouth. Now exhale through the nostril. Again inhale through the nostril. Exhale through the mouth, like a blowing of the candle. Now inhale through the mouth, hold, and exhale through the nostril. Okay. So we almost fix all these tubes and cavities. So if you really practice this, you can avoid a lot of problem. Sleep apnea, deviated septum. Snoring. Snoring is very interesting. The tube has a problem. That is very interesting. People have no idea how they snoring. I tell you a story, then you will remember this. I came to this country and it was with my brother. He snored a lot. Like this. So that I adjusted with that because I had no choice. I had no job. I just came to the United States. So I adjusted with that. 
Suddenly he stopped. Then I was a bit worried. What is doing? I think maybe you, maybe you woke up. No, he's not waking up. So I make him wake him. I said, "Hello, I have no job. I don't know how to drive in the United States. Either you snore or you wake up. Don't do in in between because it's very dangerous. Because I cannot sleep. I can adjust with the sleep. So most of the spouse are adjusting with their." Husband or wife snoring and sleep comfortably. So they said we can stop it. Can you really practice this? One clip or a plastic clip won't help you. I'm not making fun of that because the airway. You learn science, you know that this is this is two between larynx and pharynx. So I can teach you something about how the sleep should be seen. See, like an ocean wave. Then, right? So when the watch me say, "That's a good sleep," but the problem with the sleep again, we have a lot of money, so we buy so many pillows. One pillow small, you put here. Other pillow you between the leg. Other pillow wherever you pain, you put here. We are sending a big parcel to Japan. That's where you sleep. Sometimes people sleep like a shrimp, completely bent, and take one arm like this and sleep. So your body is really struggling hard. That's not a sleep. Forget about it. That's all. Even though sometimes I go like this, but early morning you have to stretch it back. We used to do that. Remember when we were young? I don't know. Yeah, not the young kids. Early morning, ma, we stretch like this. Early morning, we went like so. Immediately, mother had a problem. Mother gave a coffee, and after a few days, ma coffee, no such. We substitute our stretch into chemicals. Chemicals. So then he said, coffee is not good, tea is not good, wine is not good. So I have to control the wine. You make a habit and you try to control. By the time too late, you die. Either you should not start, or you to adjust with that. Body knows how to adjust. And one more thing. Most of the people are blessed because we have a good water to drink. The air is not much polluted till date. We have a good some facility, good bed to sleep. Not much pain. You should be happy. Rest of them, what I call it, greed. You are comparing other people. I'm better than you. But last day, what will happen? Everybody goes to the same place. So maybe even childhood onwards, I have this thought: how we can help people. So sometimes people won't believe me, trust me, because there are so many yoga guys are there. So what this yoga guy is talking too much in the class. But I have a different is. I understand my job, good job. Then I decided I want to do something for me and others. For me first. So just listen to this and do the yoga every day by yourself. And let me know after 21 days, 14 days, your body start loving me, not your mind. Mind said, "Oh, I was 6:30, 7:30. I had to take dinner. I attended, came home from the office. One lady told me I started driving, and I came here. I am doing yoga. He never appreciate me because all the credit goes to others. Okay, but after 21 days, you know that your body started changing." All credit goes to you, and I will take the credit in afterwards. That's called blessing. Not only the money; the blessing will come to me definitely. I believe in the law of karma. The good thing, good thing comes back to me. Inhale and exhale, sound vibration. Inhale through the nostril, 
Now exhale with the sound like a humming. Say. Mm. rituals about the religion but when I go to India I like to go to the temples because frequencies enter different each God has a different frequency till I don't know why when I reach there I can feel difference when you go to a Devi temple is different when you go to Shiva temple is different when you go to Krishna temple is different when you go to Muruga temple is so many Indian gods are there but I walk with the frequency and said, while coming back, some changes. Okay, forget about that part. When you have a good friends, you are not lonely. That's why a yogi, I always tell the yoga teachers, you should be good friends to the people. Forget about monk or yogi. You should be friendly. And if you are really friendly, you can really help them by entraining the energy to them. There's a blessing. You have seen the blessing like this, right? This entraining the energy frequency to the other person because almost the carbon based fire element. Believe in it. So when you believe in it, you will get the result. We have a very, very temporary life. Enlightenment is not after death. Always think about this. Whatever the play you did here with your intelligence, that's not permanent. You will regret. I regret so many things in my life. When I was young, I grew up in a place where two maid servants. Some servant is maybe very young kid. Now I have sort of regret and guilt that I should not allow that in my house. Sometimes very old people help me to get the time, the shoes and everything. So sad, slavery. So a lot of guilt with me also. When somebody left, leave me by blaming me, I never did any wrong, any wrong thing, but I have a guilt. I should have helped him, not leaving from me. Same time, I am a human being, I have a lot of problem, I can have animal, animal instinct. So sometimes we make mistakes when you are young. But you have to understand that, that is nature. Don't have unnecessary guilt on that. So most of the trauma, you can get it out by thinking that, okay, that's my guilt, that's my shame, that's my ego, that's my fear, right? So I want to explain things to you before my death. So always think about this. And so many years experience, you will have a courage. Courage means heart. Courage to help people. To help people, you should have a lot of courage. Otherwise, you understand, listen to others to help people. Take deep breath. You are playing with the primary pranayam. Inhale and pluck the ears and just watch me. Like a mm. I am unfortunate 
because I don't know how you are doing. But you are fortunate because you can see me and you can, I'm doing with you and you can sit in your home and watch this and do it. I have a problem because I used to get energy from my students. Now I'm not getting it. And also I can I cannot diagnose the body. I'll tell you one more story and you love it. There is some there was there was some a group of Ayurvedic doctors, naturopathy doctors. So eight families, their brothers and cousin brothers, live separately in part of Kerala. So Ashtavaidinma, that means eight family doing this. I know one family. I'd been there once. This guy is looking at the person and said two words, open your mouth. And he said, okay. He never touched. Then I learned that he is entraining the energy. He knows what the problem is. Very crowded. Everybody is in line too. And he smelled the people. Then he find that there is a dog. He diagnosed the problem. Now what you are missing here? When you go to a doctor. When I was young, doctor will touch here. Pulse. And feel everything is good. I told you I repeat one more time. Now we are missing that. Doctors are sitting together in a table, looking at the report, looking at the chart, and deciding what the problem. The human beings are waiting. That patient is waiting outside by reading a magazine. How this diagnosis will come? People have to understand what the diagnosis is. Who is the best doctor? Who diagnoses the disease? If you fail to diagnosis, this patient will die. So there are a lot of things you do spiritually, you should do. And socially, you have to do. I, I know the doctors are listening to this. You should change it. Because very, very people will tell you like this, with respect. Because touch the body, hold the body, see the people, talk to the people, take the history from them. Where are they living? Which, which atmosphere they are taking the breath? What type of water they are drinking? We feel so many things. I'm trying hard with this one and a half hour. Some people won't like me because they have not set idea that yoga is sun salutation or something like that. I was also thinking like when I was young, but I want to change it. Now, the time to relax. So before you go, I tell you, I've been teaching here in this room, chakra balancing. What is chakra? The wheel. So I told you about the frequency. We have a frequency which changes each part of the body differently. Science. You know the pH is different for each part of the body. Your skin pH is different. Your mouth is different. Esophagus is different. And your abdomen part is different and digestive part is different. Same way, your internal organs are moving in a different direction, different dimension, that's called the frequency. So the frequency can send the signals, that's your emotion. Tell you, um, when you want, you cannot think, but you touch. I cannot think, I cannot focus. What is the problem here? <coughs> so to make it easy, and I never seen that somebody said I have a problem or I cannot think by touching the button. Why? Because this is a place for thinking. Stuck here, gad gada. You were sad feeling, stuck here, throat. There will be Shuddha Chakra. You have to clean. What do you clean? I just mentioned you. Ego, fear, shame, guilt. Take it out. These are all the emotions. Here. I am, you touch the heart. Not a good thing. I am, I say ego. I love you. Love is good. But you connected with the ego. I love my kid, my country, my sister, my food, my favorite food. You connect with the ego, all your emotions. Then you call it love. That's not a love. Why you respect God's, Christ, Buddha, Krishna? There's unconditional love. We don't know what the meaning of love. 
Okay. Now the third chakra is excitement, like a butterfly moves here. When you get some, when I get some good money, smile, happy. The first two is really subconscious mind. I can call unconscious. Kid, we don't remember anything the first day. We were blind. We were blind in mother's womb. We died from the water to the air. Then we started dream, dream things. And we have a hope and faith and trust. We don't know what the faith we have, know the trust we have, all we forgot. But subconscious mind knows that. So most of the action and thinking you are doing unconsciously. All psychologists, all psychologists knows this. But they are in the business, I am not. So make sure you are emotionally balanced to be really relaxed when you relax full, fully the body. We can relax 10 minutes, lay on your back and spread your feet. Please be sincere. Very sincere to yourself. Don't try to judge meditation, Buddha meditation, Christ meditation. Forget about it. Just spread your feet. You are at home. Comfortably spread your feet. Open the palm. Spread your arm. Open the palm to the sky and bring your mind to the sky. Sky is the limit. You have no limitation. And believe in the soul. Energy. I don't use the stuck inside one drop of cosmic energy inside the body. We can call it soul, but when you believe only the soul will come down into your body. Otherwise, soul is out. That's called the believers have more blessing. Now I talk about these chakras, the emotional whirlpools, all connected with the glands. The abdomen cavity connected the adrenal gland, creating adrenaline, balancing the cortisol to control your fight or flight tendency. So you would surrender. How many times you say, why me, poor me? That's mainly because of this adrenal gland. Only one medicine is self-reward. You have to get some confidence inside you. So you don't want to fight with anybody, anybody. Relax the abdomen cavity. Think about the organs, your spleen, digestive system, cleansing, reproductive organs, all relax. Including the liver, kidney, pancreas, a big pharmaceutical factory, chemical factories the Breathe in, breathe out, suggest your mind, let go. Just release the stress from the... Because I always tell the people, the abdomen part must be relaxed more than the brain. Gut feeling, you may heard about that. Thoracic cavity, heart and the lungs. Breathe in, breathe out. Your love, your affection, sympathy, kindness, everything included the, not in the brain. Because heart is only one. Love, one way traffic. Like a flower and a fragrance. Only to push this fragrance out to the wind. That's a, one of the best examples of unconditional love. Sympathy. Your love and sympathy little bit connected. Because you are lucky and blessed because you are better than others. So you can ego out and get the sympathy, help people. Don't try to count numbers all the time. That's your accountant problem, that's brain. Heart, give you thousand times better when you give it out. If you are blessed from last birth, if you believe in that, but this birth also you should give it out. Then you think about the throat, I explained to you. No guilt, no shame, no fear.
old effect of the story. Nobody wants to love you if you love yourself. It's connected to the dopamine, self-reward. Now just go to the head. So there's a pituitary gland, totally control the endocrine system, the hormone, they called master gland. Connecting your sleep, <coughs> melatonin, connecting to the vagus nerve, is sending signals all over the body. And the hormone, love hormone, oxytocin. Oxytocin is really, really important. Teach you what's the meaning of love, the chemistry, and serotonin, happiness. The difference between excitement and the happiness is different. You should be happy without much reason. It's not connected to the material world. The quality of a being, love. Again, breathe in and learn the technique, letting go, step out from the story. Step out from the story, nothing else, the story. Where were you before the story starts? You don't remember. So you don't know from where you came and you don't know where you are going, what's the big deal? We are visiting the planet with the planet body. No difference between the genders. No difference between the people. Only you to be strong inside and outside. So I will let you go there in that world because the time you can focus inside your brain, dive into the brain. That means the dark sky. One day you see the light inside. That is real you. Thank you for attending the webinar.